Fast trackers. Bright sunlight coming through. Hey, beautiful dawn out there. How are you? Good? Fantastic. Da da, the big D cup. <laughs> okay, leave it at that. trackers how are you today yeah I heard daylight saving is mucking everybody up who invented that howdy Hey, what do you think of my red shirt? That should brighten things up, shouldn't it? I'll be with you in a sec. Hang on. Ah, oh, that's better, 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 better. All right. <clears throat> it's Daryl and it's fast track time. <laughs> and this is number 30. Can you believe I've been doing this, these half hour shows 30 times? Is the camera in the right place? Yeah. <laughs> It gets bumped around. Um, through the week, I have people in here. I had a band in here on Saturday, and and the, this gear all gets bumped around. Then I check it out in the early hours of Monday morning for me. But it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon for most people around the world. And welcome. I got no idea what we're going to do. Don't know. I nearly got, nearly got eighteen thousand subscribers now, so that's worth celebrating, isn't it? Yeah. Can you believe that? It's wonderful. Being able to help people all around the world with their music, yeah? Radio, who we got? Ah, oh, good morning, Coralie. Lovely to see you. And Thomas, especially, what is it, 617? Who knows? Um, <laughs> Gay, Cherie. Hello, Cherie. Hey, listen, why don't you all come out with me and play golf? Gotta be kidding. <laughs> you know, I really enjoy golf because... It takes my mind off my work here. As much as I love my work, sometimes it, like everybody else on the planet, it all gets a bit too much. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think of KC, you know, out on his farm uh, in Kansas. And maybe he's got it right. He just has to uh, worry about his uh, whatever he's doing. I'm assuming here. I don't know if KC's watching. You know, the internet and technology and all that is a two-edged sword, isn't it? it? It can bring people together all over the world and you can learn all this stuff from people that you've never heard of, like me. But it's also, it's at you all the time, isn't it? You get your emails and all that sort of thing. So you've got to, you know, adapt. And us humans are very good at adapting. Sometimes, times, times I go out myself and look across the water. These songs are always in girls' keys, so I can never find them straight away. And think of all the things of what you're doing. And in my head I paint a picture. Cause since I've come on home, well my body's been a mess. And I've missed your ginger hair and the way you like to dress. Wow, Daryl, your voice is very low today. Won't you come on over? 
Stop making a fool out of me Why don't you come on over, Valerie? Valerie Valerie That's an old-fashioned name, isn't it, Valerie? Uh, okay, this is an old song. I can't remember the band who did it first. I think it was News of the World or something like that. And, of course, um, Amy Winehouse, dear Amy, uh, made it very famous, and the song has really kicked off since then. And what an old-fashioned name, Valerie, yeah? yeah. You know, I've, I've been listening to a, a, a singer that was huge about oh, 10, 15 years ago, uh, Nora. Nora Jones. Now, there's another fa- old-fashioned name. Um, gee. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll learn it first. <laughs> and uh, she's got some fantastic music. If you li- uh, have a listen to her, she's not just, um, you know, uh, background music, that's for sure. She's got some beautiful songs. Uh, Nora Jones. Okay, let's get back to Valerie. Now, in Valerie, we're in E flat major. Now, there's 12 different keys in music. Here's the easy one. Here's the one everybody loves. That's C major. But there's 11 others. There's 11 others. And Valerie's in E flat major. That means you start on this note. Now, you could play Valerie in C major if you wanted to, but the vo- your voice mightn't suit it. Let's try it. Well, sometimes I, ta- times I go out by myself and look across the water. Now, I'm even lower. I'm down in Tom Waits' territory now. <laughs> and I think of all the things, what you're doing, and in my head I paint a picture. I could try singing out, up an octave. I'm really putting myself out here, aren't I? <laughs> well, sometimes I go out by myself and look across the water. Depends what your friends say. Some friends might say, Daryl, give it away. Uh, others might say, um, I like it up high, man. Yeah, sing up high. And others would say, no, no, I, I, like, I like the low sound, you know. Um, but you've got to find your right key. Now, uh, Amy sings it in E flat. You got three flats. Yeah, three flats. And the first chord is E flat. Now I'm going to show you a big fat E flat chord. That's E flat, E flat, G, B flat, and E flat. Well, sometimes I go out and I look across the... Now we go to an F minor chord, a big fat F minor chord. Water. You know, yesterday I went down to the uh, um, local diggers club. That's a sort of an ex-serviceman's club here in uh, Coogee, Randwick. And there were kids down there performing. Some had backing tracks. Some had people playing their accompaniment for them. But there was one boy who got up and actually sang and played the piano, accompanied himself on the piano. And he was only, I don't know, 11, 12 that's what I'm on about. That's what I'm showing you right now. Yeah. I mean, we could do Boogie Woogie forever, which is fine. I've got plenty of Boogie Woogie stuff on there. Great. But, you know, go if, you, if you've if you got a few friends around for dinner and stuff and you've got a keyboard in the corner, just get a book with a lot of songs in it or or um, um, get some stuff off the internet. And once you know your chords, you can sit there and have fun all night. People love to sing, you know. It's just... Something that, um, especially when they've had a cup of tea or two, you know, the, it's it's just a beautiful thing to do, a beautiful community thing to do. You know, in the old days here in Australia, before TV, there were pianos nearly in every house. They were just everywhere. I'm not sure whether people really learned to play them properly or not, but uh, they must have kept piano tuners in in uh, in business. Yeah. So if we're going to sing Valerie, we only need to know a couple of chords. Here's E flat. 
Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. Now that's F minor. Why? Here's F major. That's F major. F A C. F minor. It's got a B A flat there. Now all major keys, are all major scales, all major chords <laughs> have got one, two, three notes between your thumbs. How about that? One, two, three. But all minor chords, here's an F minor, have only one, two, one, two. So major chords have got three between your thumbs and minor chords have only got do. Is this all working? Everything working? Look at that. Piano fun number 30. What am I mad? <laughs> at the beginning of the year, we started doing this every day. I think we did a 10 minute le lesson every day and then that just got too much. So I just did a, <clears throat> been doing it once, uh, once a week since, uh, I don't know, March or something. And uh, I've got my p fans that tune in every time. Haven't I, Stephen? Cherie? Young Russ? <laughs> Um, hey, an Alfie baby from Florida. I sent him some. S no, I better not tell you because you might want them too. It's it's all old school stuff. Sending stuff in the mail these days. G'day, um, Alfie. Now, E flat major chord. There it is. E flat, E flat, G, B flat, and E flat. Doesn't sound very sexy. We can make it sound more jazzy by making that top note come down to D. And that makes it sound like this. <whistles> Groovy. <laughs> so instead of this, we've now got... Sounds like an old song from uh, Midnight Cowboy, doesn't it? You know what it is? Here we go. Everybody's talking at me. I don't hear a word they're saying. Only the echoes of my mind. <coughs> People stop and staring. I can see their faces. Only, what about that chord? Isn't that a beauty? That's F minor 7 with a B flat in the bass. Only the echoes of my mind. Oh, thanks, Alfie. After all these years, I think I'd, I'd hope I'd got a little bit better. I mean, we're all on a journey here, aren't we? I go in to play golf, and then there's a guy who's a lot better than me, but I feel I'm getting a little bit better. You know, it's like that. Up, down, up, down, up, down. You gotta practice, you gotta practice. As long as you love it. And you gotta love music, hey? You gotta love music. That's a good movie, Midnight Cowboy, you seen that? I mean, great, I saw a really full on movie the other night. I've been meaning to watch for years. Well, I've only found out about it recently, actually. Uh, it's called Wake in Fright. Man, it's full on. It's an Australian film, and they only uh, found the uh, proper print about 10 years ago. Um, if you like uh, movies that, you know, are confronting and, um, uh, well, I suppose realistic, then uh, check it out. I wouldn't call it a date movie, though. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. There's that beautiful chord. F, A flat, C, E flat. With a B flat in the bass. Wow. Everybody's talking at me I don't hear a word they're saying Only the echoes of my mind I make it look so easy, do I, Stephen? I've got to make it look hard. <laughs> no. Uh, I have people coming through here all the time, uh, through the week, and I've got to play piano for them, so I suppose I am practicing without even knowing it. I don't sort of sit down for an hour a day and do it. I used to, when I was younger, I used to practice for four hours a day when I was, you know, in my uh, late teens, early early 20s. 
Um, but then I just played whenever I needed to, and I've needed to because I got people walking in this room and they want me to do stuff for them. Um, stuff like they might have written a song. Somebody's might have written a song and they've come in and they say, Daryl, I, 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 I imagine piano in the background of this. Do you think you can work out some piano parts for me? I listen to their little tune and then I try and work out what chords there would be. So that happens a lot. Uh, then you get other people who come in here and say, Daryl, I want to sing this song. It's on Spotify. Have a listen to it. It's by Billy Eilish or Eilish or whatever her name is. I've got to work it out. I've got to work out, listen to it and work it out and try it. So I'm continually practicing those sort of things. Then I get sort of older school students that love older stuff like Billie Holiday and um, you know the old jazz divas and... Um, and we're doing, you know, I've got to do more traditional type sort of stuff, which is great. So I'm practicing there too. So without me sitting down and actually setting a time to practice, I am practicing all the time. I have people coming in here and I, I have to play, which is great. And then I get the opportunity to perform with my little jazz band, Sax Appeal. Sax Appeal. Check it out. You know, we've got some... Um, uh, mature age students that have been coming here for a while now and I formed a little jazz band with them. You can have a look at it. It's a, uh, I just did the website last week, ja saxappealjazz.com, saxappealjazz.com. Uh, my wife took a photo of the band out the front there in front of the uh, front of a little <laughs> bush. It came out all right. Okay, where were we? Let's get back to Valerie. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. Now this song's done really fast. You have, when she does it, dun, dun, dun. it's really fast. But some songs can be slowed down and sound really good. In fact, on, um, who was it? It was John. John was in here recording on um, Saturday afternoon and he, he was singing an old Beatles song that went like this. what it is all my loving anyway when I first heard this song growing up in Australia there was a show called young talent time which was this guy ha had all these young kids and they 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 were they performed on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon and they were really talented and and um, they used to sing all my loving at the end of the show every time um, and they used to do a really slow version like this mistakes and it was really pretty you know that I'd never heard it any other way and then when I heard the Beatle version a few years later I was a bit disappointed I thought oh no they're wrecking it they're doing it too fast and they wrote it <laughs> so what am I saying here I'm saying a great song can be done many ways if you got a good tune you know a good lyric a good sentiment good feel it can be done with different feels because it's such a good song it can be done many ways um so same with valerie so instead of it being up tempo it can be a slow jazzy one well sometimes i go out by myself and i look across the water and i think to myself what you doing and in my head i paint a picture Next bit is A flat mad seven, so you got to come up here. A flat, A flat, C, E flat, G. Cause when I come on home, and my body's been a mess. That's a G minor seven, G B flat D F. Da, and I missed your ginger hair and the way you like to dress. And do it again. Won't you come on over? Stop making a fool out of... Now we'll do the everybody's talking chord, if you like. F minor 7, F, A flat, C, E flat, with a B flat in the bass. Me, yeah! Oh, sing in tune, Daz. Come on over, Valerie. Valerie. 
Valerie Valerie So it's almost a little jazz tune this one Now if you did those chords in the left hand You can improvise in the right hand On the E flat major scale See, I'm just playing the notes from the scale. And in the left hand, I'm playing those chords from Valerie. Without it being a big fat chord, I'm just doing it in the left hand. And this is a, a beautiful meditation. It doesn't have to be for anybody else, it can be just for you. Right at the beginning of the year, I did a little series on meditations. If you have a look through my live um, um, folder. How much, how are we going for time? 10 minutes. Um, and I did it all easy ones. Um, so if you were doing C major, for instance, you're going C, E, G, B, two, D, F, A, C. Now some people might be saying, oh man, you're sending me to sleep. Good. Music's there for all sorts of reasons. It can be there to stimulate. But I need sleep. No, it just feels good to do that, you know, for, for, for me to do it, um, just to relax with it. And that's what Valerie is. It's that chord going to that chord, backwards and forwards, only we're in E flat. Hey, is Judith there? Hey, Judith there. Come on, come on, come on. Let's keep politics out of it. Time for music. Okay. <clears throat> Valerie, Valerie, Valerie. What else shall we do today? I'm not sure. Hi, Judith. Hi, Judith. Hey, Judith. Hey, Jude. How about that? You feel the pain, hate you refrain. And I hope you know that it's a what a great song. It's just a bit high for me. <laughs> Came out in 1968. It was number one for 15 weeks in in Australia. Number one for 15 weeks. Amazing. Mm. I wonder what happened when he first decided that he was going to do that little bit at the end, which became a huge bit at the end. I mean, where, where did the na-na business come from? Um, it's wonderful, isn't it? Ideas. Where do ideas come from? Like, I've got a... Um, 
I was thinking about this yesterday. <clears throat> you know, um, poultry was pretty big once upon a time. I'm not sure if it's so big now. I think it's the best best chance it's got is through rap music, which a lot of people don't like, but the, 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 they do have things to say. So I, I subscribed to a website yesterday. Um, a poem a day, a poem a day. I'm, try, I'm trying to read a poem a day, just, just little bits. There's this little bit here. I'll just read a little bit for you, shall I? Uh, this is called Subway Wind by Claude McKay. Never heard of it. Uh, and it's, today, this day, in 1904, the New York City subway opened. On this day, in 1904, the New York City subway opened. And this is a little poem, I won't read it all. Far down, down through the city's great gaunt gut, the grey train rushing bears the weary wind. In the packed cars, the fans, the crowds breathe cut, the, the, uh, breath cut, leaving the sick and he heavy air behind. And pale-cheeked children seek the upper door to give their summer jackets to the breeze. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Their laugh is swallowed in the deafening roar of captive wind that moans from fields and seas. Um, yeah, I've forgotten about poetry. You know, these are people that are just have got the gift of the uh, gift of the word. That's called Subway Wind <clears throat> by Claude McKay. And sometimes you can make songs out of these things, like far down, down through the city's great gaunt gut. Ooh, that's a bit rough to try and write a song around. The grey train rushing bears the weary wind. Bears the weary wind, this sort of flows nicely. Maybe you could do something with that. In the pack cars, the fans, the crowds breathe breath cut. Uh, a little bit too wordy to put into a song leaving the sick and heavy air behind so you know when you get to a thing like na na na, <laughs> na. who cares if it doesn't mean anything it just feels good and it sounds good with poetry though it has to have something it, it, as well as it's, it's got to flow and it sound good and have something to say in music you don't necessarily have something to say it can be you can make whatever you like out of that na 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 bit Who cares? That's a great thing of music. Yeah, that's right, Judith. Yeah. In fact, um, Paul was uh, criticised a little bit because he picked up on the word Jude, which um, was still having... You know, uh, uh, after World War Two and the and the Jewish um, problem there, that that, uh, that was picked up a little bit. So, but the you know we've all gone through that now. Hey Jude, yeah, uh, and it should have been Hey Julian, of course, because um, that was Julian's son, what John Lennon's son, and John had just split up with uh, Cynthia, yeah, and he and Paul felt sorry for Cynthia and uh, Julian, so she dro he drove out there to say hello, you know. And uh, on his way, he, he, or on his way back, he, he, the, tune, the tune popped in his head. There it was, a gift from, from doing a nice thing. Isn't that, that's great, isn't it? Uh, and so that little bit at the end would be a celebration and it lifts up high. Na, 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 na. It's all, who cares? Life is a bowl of cherry stuff. <laughs> who knows? Um, I love this. That note there, isn't that great? That's a ninth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then a B flat. Okay, I'm going to go now. If you um, would like a, um, a discount on the um, on the songs from the song shop, if you go to the uh, website, have a look at the song shop. I'll give you a fifty percent discount. The uh, code word is Hey Jude, Hey Jude, and um, from five minutes after I finish the uh, the um, program today, which is now. <laughs> okay. Uh, listen, I'm sorry about the, uh, the, the um, daylight saving problem. It's, it's going to be messy for a couple of weeks because I think England uh, changes next week. So let's just, 
we'll deal with it as, I, as it comes. Thanks for subscribing and don't forget to put the like button up there. Um, people do watch this video after I've finished it and it's, it's nice to know that they do that. So I hope you, hope you enjoyed uh, Subway Wind by Claude McKay. I hope you liked Valerie by... Um... Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water and a tin -a -tin, I paint a picture Ian Jury and the Blockheads, holy smokes, Stephen <laughs> Hit me with your rhythm stick Hit me hard, hit me quick What a classic um, Okay, I'm gonna go Enjoy your day and I'll see you next week No, I won't be here next Monday morning Ah! <laughs> we'll work something out. Anyway, um, don't forget to donate. If you enjoyed the show today, don't forget to donate. There's a donate button on the first, uh, on the website, on the phone. Okie dokie. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song.